Well, hello everyone. Uh, this is Brian, N0NAM here. As you can see, I've got a ID 5150th anniversary here on the on the left, and the uh, Kenwood's THD74A on the right. And uh, a lot of questions I get when uh, when uh, showing these two off is, uh, can they communicate with the uh, ICOMS uh, app, the uh, RSMS1A? The short answer is yes, they can. The long answer is that it does have some quirks, and uh, I want to work that out with you here today. Um, as you see on the left-hand side, I've got the uh, ID5100 connected to this phone through the uh, USB cable. The uh, official cable is the OPC 2350LU cable, which is the required uh, proprietary cable from ICOM. It's really expensive. It's $70 on average right now. And that allows you to connect to uh, pretty much any Android device that has on-the-go uh, USB. And I've heard a lot of people have trouble connecting to devices uh, that reportedly have that function, but for some reason it's being blocked. If you have a device that's uh, having a problem like that, you might want to look into some forums and see if there's some uh, uh, connection issues that you can uh, overcome there. Uh, also, uh, check your settings, make sure your USB debugging's on, play around with that, developer mode. All of my devices uh, have developer mode uh, debugging enabled. There's a few things you need to know right up front when uh, dealing with this. that um, Obviously, the app is built for the ICOM series devices and it has full functionality. As you can see here, it uh, gives you a DR function, sharing pictures, text messaging maps, offline maps, all that. You also have transceiver settings, allows you to directly manipulate the onboard transceiver in your radio. Over here, uh, this device connected to Bluetooth to Kenwood currently does not have DR functionality. You do have uh, your sharing pictures and your text messaging, and you cannot manipulate the transceiver itself. So you have to do all of your uh, transceiver manipulation directly on your transceiver separately from the app. Uh, your application settings have to align with your transceiver properly in order to get everything functioning, but uh, most of it's straightforward. It's just a couple things on your uh, radio that you're going to want to check. And uh, the first one is the uh, GPS TX. So what you want to do is go into your menu, go to menu number 632, and uh, you've got a selection here of your auto TX for your GPS. We don't want this interrupting with your signal on your data stream, so you need to turn this off. Okay, so just press OK. I'm going to go back and exit out of the menu there. Uh, another thing that needs to be changed is actually two things specifically, um, and that's to change your KISS mode and your DVDR mode. And for those, we go back into the menu. Go to menu number 983. Okay, and this is your KISS mode you see there at the top. And I've currently got it set to Bluetooth. From the factory, this should come as USB, and you need to change that to Bluetooth. Now, you can either go down one to get to the DVDR um, and switch it manually. But uh, for the sake of those watching the video here, we're going to go back out to the main screen. We're going to go into the menu again and go to menu number 984 which is again the DVDR, and switch that also to Bluetooth. Uh, as I said just a moment ago, it's directly underneath the kiss. These are right next to each other. Okay. Now, uh, you have to be in DV mode. And to do that, you're going to go to your station that you want to use this on. As you see on my ICOM here, I've got it to 444 megahertz. This is where I like to play around a little bit in my area. Uh, also over here on the Kenwood I've got it set to 444 megahertz but it's in FM mode so we need to switch that to the digital mode and as you can see right there uh, I've already got this set up to go for data and this is something that's really important to change because usually this does not get set and it does not show up so it, um, it didn't uh, come clear to me at first when I saw this um, and it took me a while to figure this out 
uh, that even though it's in DV mode, that doesn't uh, mean that uh, it's capable of transmitting at this current time uh, for the data, which is going to come from the phone to the device. Now it is capable of receiving uh, data from here, and I'll, I'll get into that and show you here. I'm going to send a text message. Um, I'm going to set this to CQ so everybody gets it. And we're just going to do a hello world real quick. And you see it's uh, it's lighting up over here because it's uh, receiving APRS signals as well. I've got that permanently set. Don't even worry about that right now. As long as your primary station for listening is currently set to the B station for uh, whatever your... Uh, whatever your frequency is. And we're just going to hit transmit. And there it goes. You see it just lined up. It tells me who I am, who contacted me, what they contacted, this ID51, and the text message showed up here in the listing. Now here's where it's interesting. I'm going to reply back, hi there. And I'm going to transmit. Now, this uh, is something you'll see, and you're, you're probably familiar with this with the ICOM. Um, it's going to pop up there and ask you if you want to do that. Now, I've already got mine permanently set to do that, so don't show this again. I'm going to hit the transmit key, and it's going to transmit. But you notice it didn't light up my radio, and it did not send the text. Now, that's what we have to change here, and this is the one thing that I overlooked for quite a while. And what you have to do is press your function key, that's uh, the D, key over here on the right hand side and then press A for your digital mode which gets you in the digital function menu and you see the cursors right here right over here on the right it says voice data and I want to flip that so I get the data function that's right here on the screen and that allows it to transmit data and receive it from the phone in fact Okay, so we're going to test this again. Again. Hi. There. Now, we're going to hit transmit. Now transmitting. And as you see, it just hopped over here. N-A-M. Now, you just heard my uh, name pop up on there. That's a uh, specific setting to this in case somebody just kerchunks the mic. And it's just a momentary on off so it uh, thinks that somebody kerchunked and gave me back my readout but again that's just part of the radio settings not the app um, now it is the same for picture messaging the data function has to be on in order to uh, send and receive the pictures so uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, go to uh, share a picture and this has to be in the send receive mode okay we're going to share we're going to uh, send one. Matter of fact, we'll do it in reverse. We'll, we'll uh, set this one to receive. We'll set this one to send. And uh, go to the camera. Okay, currently facing downward. We're going to flip that. So you should be able to see my camera above me. Hi, guys. Say hi to yourselves. All right. I'm going to take the picture. I like how that turned out. We're going to say okay. We're going to scale this down so I see just that camera there and save it now here's uh, the standard you should be able to see this on your icon side as well uh, when you're uh, flipping it out uh, when you're selecting your menu and I'm just doing this as a demonstration so I'm going to send it as fast as I can low quality picture 160 120 okay as you can see there it is crappy picture <laughs> and we're gonna start Okay, and it says the transceiver's GPS TX mode must be off to send from the RS MS1A. Okay, and there's a previous picture of me already in the queue. I forgot to save, and it's going to be overwritten right now. And there it is. So, I hope this works out for you. Uh, if it doesn't, feel free to comment, and I'm going to try and. Uh, get this worked out as much as I can um, there is something I want to test right here for you uh, and that is the ability to uh, transmit to the data 
Now see, I know that this uh, icon is capable of automatically detecting what I want to do currently, whether that's data or voice, and I don't have to manually uh, jump back and forth. The app is capable of doing that for me, so when I key up, well, hello there. Now, and I just did that illegally. That's an easy room in a yeah, test. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry for that radio feedback there. Uh, and as I said before, this one is currently in data mode, and I don't know if it's capable of jumping back and forth to what I need it to do. So I'm going to test that right now. As you can see, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to switch that back to DV data mode. I'm going to key up in zero in AM testing. See, and it's in data mode right now. So if I want to switch back to using uh, voice, I need to flip my uh, function here, function digital, and switch back to voice mode. So, in zero, in AM testing. testing. So there you go. zero, oh. in AM. Yeah, it wasn't long enough for the... Okay, so, as you see, in order to switch back and forth, you have to manually do that with the Kenwood. So remember, for that function, it's function, digital, and it's the uh, number six. And you can do that real quick just by memorizing that. Function, digital six. So DA6. All right. N0 NAM uh, saying 73. See you around.